that the man said that if we don't cut the Benjamin, he will not release Simeon. And Jacob said, Joseph is not. Simeon is not. Now you want to take Benjamin and go. All these things are against me. You may be being in the situation of that today. You may think that because of the trial that you're facing, all things are against you. Because what the church is facing, the last time pastor told me, there is some one member who died. And again, when we're making the program, I hear that Brother Bagoma was one of the uh, most important church person in the church here. Also, it's gone. You may also think that these all are against you. But let me tell you, when the gods are up and by, this all is go together for the good of those the Lord has proposed. That means if you face any trials today that you are here, don't think that because you face the trial that the Lord has forgotten, the Lord has forgotten you, that the Lord left you. No. That, that trial you face is because the Lord has a purpose for you. Even the people of Israel, when the Lord promises to them that go to the to Canaan, they promise them. Before they reached to Canaan, there was many difficulties that they faced in the road. There was many trials that they faced in the road. Even the Lord Jesus, before the name will be given above all the name, after the baptism that he received the Holy Spirit, the Lord God sent him to the desert to be tempted. It's the Bible. It doesn't say send Jesus to just go to look for the deed. The child says Jesus doesn't send Jesus to the desert to go to contemplate the desert. But he said he sent him to the deed. The Holy Spirit sent him to the desert to go to be tempted. That means you will face trials. You will face difficulties. That be there. But you need to know that that is go together for the good of those the Lord has a purpose. Amen. Amen. Whatever you're facing today is because the Lord has a purpose for you. You, you don't need to say because today I pray too much, maybe I fast too much, I do this, I do that, but I cannot see the end of God. It doesn't mean the God, the Lord left you. No. He has not left you. The Lord sin with you because he wants to give you a big position. He wants to give you an elevation. He wants to give you a poor blessing. He wants to test it. That's what I call the training of the Lord. Some Christians, they sing. They sing when they have a 1,000 in their pocket. Or when they find out the salary come when there is 5,000 in their pocket. That's when they say God is good all the time. When they face a good time, when everything is fine, when everything is going well in the family, they see God is good all the time. But when things start becoming bad, they start thinking that God has left them. Even sometimes they'll become greedy, they'll get something in their heart against God. They'll start even thinking something different. I want you need to know what the institution is in. That, that is the plan of the Lord. That's because the Lord has a better plan. And you want to pass by that decision before you reach your Ghana. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless every one of you. I will not take much time. That is my last one. But one, one thing you need to read that is Romans 20, 28, verse 28. All we know that all those things is for the good for those. Lord has a purpose. That means whatever you're facing, whatever the church is facing, whatever that you church, this is because the Lord has a purpose for this church. Because the Lord has a purpose for every one of you here. Amen? That's what you trust in the Lord. Even Job, faced trial, he was very rich. He lost everything that he has. People come to Job to say, Job, can you open your mouth and curse the Lord? Job said, the Lord has given, the Lord has taken. Let the name of the Lord should be glorified. And let every one of you think that today you are a Job. And glorify the name of the Lord in every circumstance that is in 1 Thessalonians 5 17. Glory that give thanks in every circumstance. That means even you are in a good time, even you are in a hard time, even you are in a so and so time, give glory to the Lord. Don't be a season, a season in Christian. Like when everybody, every time, everything is fine, you will be there to say, No, oh, God. Everybody will say that you are not the good Christian walking and you look in the road, you think about Jesus everywhere. Yes, but when things become hard now, you become a different. You see how Jacob 
when they tell you bless Benjamin to go, he said, all their things are against me. But you need to know that all those things, because there's something better coming. That's why the Lord is doing us. Let the Lord need to be glorified in everything. Amen. And give glory to the Lord. Just for a few minutes. Thank you, Jesus. I hope that that's what is it to bless someone. Now I want to come to the introduction of my brother, the speaker of the day. In the Old Testament, we know that God was speaking to people. Amen. In the New Testament, Amen. Our God saves people. Even right now, the Lord that we worship is the God, is not a mute God. It's a God that speaks. Speak to He can speak to Pastor. He can speak to Sister Lee. He can speak to Sister Grace. He can speak to everyone here. Just to tell you that this man of God that we're going to receive today is from far, from Ghana, West Africa. Finding that is two different continents, two different cultures. Amen. Maybe two different traditions or two different way of worship. I want you to address the most important, the Lord God that we worship Him is only one God. And His Spirit is one. In case, why is speaking? If the Lord reveals something to him, you may not like him. You may like him. But as I know, when you receive the Holy Spirit, after baptism, bapt taking your baptism in Jesus' name, you receive power. And I'm sure the Holy Spirit has given you a discerning spirit. If what is telling you, I'm not saying that it may be true and represent me false, but you can ask the Lord what he's telling you. What, what the Holy Spirit say about it. But you don't automatically have a start up. As I preached last time here about the Bible, you don't mind that this is not because maybe the person from different, they have different culture, they have different tradition, they have different way of praying. Do not take things like this. Be open and let the wind of the Holy Spirit to blow. Amen. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit to blow. Amen. As a while, I was with him. Even before we go here, I told him, you know, we are Pentecostal. And as Pentecostal, there are certain things that we don't normally do in the church. Amen? But if the Lord puts something in your heart, do not keep it. Because as a man of God, if you keep it, that's also a sin. Amen? And he told me that the person who died from the church, the Lord put in his heart after praying here that the spirit will go out of the church, the Lord told him to go to that family house to pray for that family. Otherwise, there's something on the way there to pray. But if we don't allow the spirit of the Lord to move, if we don't allow the spirit of the Lord to do what he has come to do, to the Spirit of the Lord. Just when he was when we were preaching, pray. If you can speak to you can you don't need to open the Lord, but inside you pray. The Lord also will guide him. The Lord also will lead out what he put in his mind. If you tell you something that he told you, if you have the Holy Spirit, you will have the condition that the Lord is telling you. That's why let the wind of the Holy Spirit blow. Do not be stuck up to the move of the Lord. Amen. If anything comes, maybe it's wrong, keep praying, the Lord will make a way. If it's good, keep praying, the Lord will make it increase it. May the Lord bless every one of you. I would like to call here our anointed man of God from Ghana, Pastor Isaac Coffee.
Amen. So I give pray. Father, I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you adoration. It's not by might, it's not by power, it's just by your mercies and grace. Father, I thank you for this church. I thank you for these people. I thank you for this great ministry. I thank you for this church at this place at this point in time. Father, let your spirit move. Let your breath breathe. And let your spirit touch these people. I pray for your angelic visitation. Let them take vantage positions. Father, I pray anything going on in the realms of the spirit against this ministry. Father, arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release your fresh oil. Release the spirit of joy. Release the spirit of happiness. Release the spirit of liberty and freedom in this church by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. We have offices in the Bible. We have the pastoral office. We have the teaching, uh, we have the evangelic, evangelistic office. We have the prophetic office. We have the apostolic office. And we have the teacher. Amen. I am not a pastor. I am not a teacher. I am not an evangelist. By the time I finish, you will know my office. I can preach. I can teach. I can win souls. But that is not my office. Amen. Do you understand me? Yes. I'm not here to prophesy to anybody. I am here to do God's will. I was in Severa and I was asking God, what word do you have for these people? As I came down on the seat, on the floor, I mean the ground floor, God told me, preach to them 2 Corinthians 4 verse 8. And as I was meditating in my spirit, Pastor Trabi told me, the Lord is impressing in his heart to preach a word of encouragement. Can you imagine? The Spirit is one. The Spirit is one. The Spirit is one. Now, mommy is wearing, your wife is wearing a military couple. Amen. Right? Military uniform. church is under attack. We are going to battle. And we back come off air. And we back the freedom of this great church in the realms of the spirit and not in the physical. There is nothing happening in the physical. What is happening to us is in the realms of the spirit. Hallelujah. So mommy is, mommy's attack is symbolic. It's prophetic. Give God a clap. Give God a clap. Play a song for me. Play it for me. I want to go into the word of God now and exhort these people, exhort their heart, exhort their spirit, exhort whatever is in them. Holy Spirit. Let your presence be strong. Let your presence be strong. More love, more power. 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 Power in this church. Fire in this church. Listen to the song. Listen to the song. And meditate. And meditate. And meditate. Meditate.
chapter 4, verse 8. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8. I need Tagalog. I need Tagalog. I need Tagalog. I don't have time, please. Flow with me. I need Tagalog right now. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8. Tagalog. I need Tagalog. Yeah. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8. Sa magkabila ay nangag nangagigipit kami, gayon may hindi nangaghihinagpis. Nangagkitilihan, nangagkitilihan, gayon may hindi nangawala ng pag-asa. Verse 9. Verse 9. Pinag-uusig, gayon may hindi pinababayaan. Ininulog mo, gayon may hindi na nasisira. Verse 10. That's all. That's all. Now, Bible is saying that this is Paul writing. Okay? This is Paul's writings. This is the word of Paul or the words of Paul under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. Now, we have the word of God and we have the words of men under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There are some things I can say now that are my own words, but they are under the inspiration of the Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Now, when I say them, this word will minister to somebody in the congregation. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit is the one empowering me to say those sentences or those words. We have the word of God that comes directly from the uh, from the mouth of God. Amen. For instance, God told in Genesis, God told Adam and Eve to not eat the fruit. This was a direct word from God Almighty to the people, to the to to Adam and Eve. Yes. Now Paul is telling you and I that in verse eight that we we are troubled on every side. We are troubled in every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Amen. Cast down, but not destroyed. Amen. Amen. Now, please uh, bring this chair here for me. I want to illustrate something to you. For you to understand it is in a simple form, okay? Amen. Bring, yes, one, two, four. I want four chairs here. I want to illustrate my preaching. So you understand what I'm preaching in a simple way. Mm -hmm. In a simple way. No, some, sometimes you need to illustrate to make what you say very yeah. simple. Yeah. No, just round, 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 round. Listen to the words again. We are, we are troubled. Second Corinthians 4 verse 8. We are troubled on every side. Yet not distressed. We are perplexed but not in despair. Persecuted but not forsaken. Cast down but not destroyed. Listen. Amen. Every day from morning to midnight, the devil is persecuting you and I. Amen. Before God, this, you know, he will say that this is what he has done, this is what he has done. The devil persecuted Job before God. Job was a righteous man. Yes. Job was a holy man. Amen. Job was an upright man. Amen. But the devil persecuted him. Amen. There are some attacks that comes in your life. Whether you are holy, whether you are not holy, whether you are righteous, whether you are not righteous, Amen. the devil will attack you. He will attack you. His intention is to attack you to prove whether your heart is for God or not for God. But when the devil attacked Job, Job's attack was a strategic attack. It was an attack that was released from the realms of the spirit Amen. against Job. But one thing that saved Job was his heart. 
He said, whether I die or I don't die, Amen. whether I go through so much turbulence and trouble, Amen. I will not test God. Amen. That's right. And Job stood fair. Job battled mm. in his heart and in his spirit. And what he lost, God paid him what? Double. Yes. That's right. Now I'm coming down. Listen to what Paul is saying. Paul is saying that we are troubled in every side. Now, we are troubled in every side means that in the realms of the spirit, there is north, west, there is uh, north, there is east, there is west, there is south. Amen. Okay? Now, this is what Paul means. The word of God is made up of two things. We have the Logos and the, the Rima. Rima. Mm -hmm. The Logos is the written word. Yeah. And the Rima is the revelational word. Now, what Paul is saying was written in Logos. Mm -hmm. Now, what I am about to tell you is the Rima. Amen. The interpretation of what he said. Oh, yes, yes. Now, I stand in the middle. Amen. And Bible says that I am troubled in every side. Yes. So, in my north, I'm under attack. Yeah. In my east, I'm under persecution. In my west, I'm under distress. Mm -hmm. And in my south, I am in despair. Mm -hmm. I stand alone in the midst of this trouble. Oh, yes. Okay? Yes. Now, my my west wants to crush me. My north, my south wants to crush me. My east wants to crush me. Amen. My, 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 my north wants to crush me. Amen. I'm alone here. Now, you are not alone here. Do you Amen. know why? Jesus. Because the Holy Spirit is in you. Amen. Amen. The power of the Holy Ghost is in you. Whilst you stand in the midst of persecution, in the midst of death, in the midst of attacks, in the midst of troubles, you stand alone with the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. This is the interpretation of what Paul is saying. Amen. When I was thinking about this chapter or, or this verse, I was imagining that God, how do we survive? Whilst all these things are around us, and the Lord told me, you survive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 I feel power, I feel the Spirit. Amen. Now, there are certain things happening in this church that are not from us or from pastor or from the wife or from the children it's a demonic ploy it's a demonic attack it's a demonic conspiracy in the realms of the spirit to 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 delay to set gossip in the town to to defame and to persecute the man of god that in the church, this is happening. This is happening. All these are the devil's plan. Amen. To, to scatter the members. Bible says, touch the sheep. And the, touch the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. This is what the enemy wants to do. I know a church in the U.S., okay? This church was filled with 20,000 members. Can you imagine? A church with 20,000 members. Mommy, within three years, within three years, the devil attacked the church and the members were scattered and the church was empty and the government took up the building. Now the pastor is not in ministry. He's doing business. Look at that. See what the enemy is doing? Therefore, People, this time is not a time of singing. It's a time to back pastor up in prayer. Amen. It's time for the prayer warriors in this church to stand up and battle and battle That's right. and battle and battle for the church to stand. Otherwise, the enemy will surprise us. Otherwise, the devil will surprise you and I. 
I'm telling you by experience. I'm telling you by the spirit, and I'm telling you by fact. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is saying, God is taking me back to Psalm 23. David said that though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, yes. I fear no evil, right? Amen. God is again taking me to Ezekiel 37. And God took Ezekiel into the valley of the dry bones. Now, this is the revelation here. David walked by himself in the valley of, of death. Now, God took Ezekiel in the valley of the dry bones. Yes. When, when Moses was in the valley of death, the rod and the staff comforted him. When Ezekiel was in the valley of the dry bones, mm -hmm. the word of God comforted him. That's right. Can you see that? Yeah. The staff and the word of God. The staff and the rod and the word of God is the answer. Tonight, tonight, I'm going to pray a prayer. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just receiving again. In the, in the Old Testament, in the time of Elijah, there was a water or a sea that was bitter. Wow. Even in the Old Testament, and in, in, in Elijah's days, mm -hmm. there was a water that was bitter. And Elijah, Elijah, sorry, took a cup of, took a bowl, okay, a bowl with water. And, and, and he, no, he took salt, salt, and threw it in the sea, and the sea became drinkable. This is a prophetic act. Yeah. Now, Bible says that in the Old Testament, God used the apostles and the prophet to build the church and empower the church in times of hardship. Yes. Pastor, I am here at the appointed time. Exactly. I am in your church right now at the right time. Exactly. Listen, please don't 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 interpret it in any way. Let's see the way God is seeing it. Amen. I don't know, Pastor. I don't know, Trubby. But why am I here in this time of crisis? Why I am, am I here in this time when pastor and this members or this church is going through hard time? Amen. Because the grace on pastor is different. The grace on me is different. So God wants to combine the grace to effect a cause. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Do you understand me? Yes. Yeah. I am here at the right time. When I was born in Ghana, God knew and God had had purposed that in 2013 I will be in the land of Philippines and in the month of June I will be in the church of this great man God God knows before I was born Amen. for a purpose for a purpose for a purpose for a purpose in Jesus name for a purpose Amen. For a purpose. Amen. For a purpose. That's right. How many of you are members of the prayer warrior team? Please get this out of the on my way. How many of you are members of the prayer team? Do you have prayer warrior, Pastor? I didn't test this all group. You have? I can test this all those who support church in prayer. <laughs> there, there is prayer, there is no warrior. No, no. <laughs> no. Pastor. Pastor fasting alone. Pastor doing no. pray. when he comes to prayer no. spiritually, Pastor no. supporting the church alone. No. I'm sorry, I don't want to hurt Listen, anyone. I beg you. Yes. I beg you. I beg you in the name of God. From today, mommy, re-establish the prayer team. Amen. I beg you. And stand in the gap. Intercession Don't means see. that you are giving God the license to come in the human affair. Amen.
prayer is a communication between a human deity and an unknown greater deity. God is the greater deity and we are the lesser deity. Amen. Listen, God can never ever do anything for you and I unless we pray. Amen. Because God has given us our liberty and our freedom on this earth. This earth is ours because God gave the earth to man. So if we want God to act in the affairs of man, we must pray. That's why. Do you get me? Why, why, why should you allow this man to go through? Why? He can't do it alone. That is why you are here. To support him. Please, if I should come here next time, I want to see prayer warriors in this church. Amen. Mommy, I charge you by the Spirit of God. If you want to join the prayer team now, before me now, please come right now. Amen. Please, listen to me. Listen, I am not joking. I, I, I am not here to waste the time. Another, explain another one. Another one. To understand them. For them to understand. Because prayer team is like intercessor. Yes, intercessor yes. Group. If you want to intercede for the church. For the church. Yeah. yeah, that's right. The man, what are you doing? The man, the man, what are you doing? Battle is for men. Battle is for men. The man, what are you doing? It's not to pray to cry for family, but it's to pray. One hour, two hours, three What are you doing? Mm. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now, please, I need somebody's handkerchief. Give me a handkerchief. Listen, I, I, I am in the spirit. I am on fire. This is the handkerchief of mommy. In the Old Testament, the apron of Paul was used for a miracle. Amen. The apron, yeah. the handkerchief. This is not mine. This is for mommy. Now, when this comes to me, the Spirit of God comes into it. In Jesus' name, amen. The Holy Spirit comes into it. Amen. Okay? I am going to impact the prayer anointing on this handkerchief. Amen. And I will lay it on the seven people. Amen. And impact on them the prayer fire and the prayer power and the prayer spirit so that when they stand and they pray, there will be a second. In the Old Testament, the apostles were on the upper room and they were praying, praying, praying and the earth shook. Do you understand me? In Africa, we pray like machine guns. Katala, makatala. We, ca we pray like machine guns. We pray like machine guns. We pray like the helicopters. We pray two, three hours. Four hours, five hours, ten hours. And after prayer, you feel the power of God Amen. in the atmosphere. Amen. That I don't know why I'm in Philippines, but I am in Philippines for a prophetic purpose. Amen. All right. Amen. Father, I turn this handkerchief into fire. I turn this handkerchief into the anointing. I breathe your spirit. I breathe the prayer spirit. I breathe the prayer anointing into this handkerchief of money. As I lay it on them, let the prayer anointing come upon them by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, let the prayer power, let the prayer anointing oh, fall upon them. Touch this one, baptize her in prayer. 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 As a prayer warrior, warrior. Father, pray. Baptize her in prayer. Baptize her in prayer. Baptize her in prayer. As a prayer warrior, warrior. Father, pray now. Baptize this one in prayer. As a prayer warrior, warrior. Let 
the spirit, let the fire of prayer come upon her. Some will say, Okay? I came to Philippines. 
it, I knew nobody. But God is sending me to the right places at the right time. Through connection. It takes labor. It takes labor. Now, in the Old Testament, I said there was a water that was bitter. Pastor, I walk with God is five ways. Okay? I walk with God is five ways. Number one, I walk with God is obedience, through obedience. Number two, I walk with God is through prayer. Number three, I walk with God is through direction. I walk with God is, number four, I walk with God is through sacrifice. And I walk with God is through fasting. There are some times in life, obedience alone cannot solve the matter. Unless you add prayer. There are some times, prayer alone cannot solve the matter. Unless you add fasting. There are some times, fasting, prayer, and obedience cannot solve the matter. Unless you add sacrifice. There are some times, you go through hard times. Sacrifice cannot help you. Prayer cannot help you. Fasting cannot help you. Obedience cannot help you. Unless you pay heed to a prophetic direction. In the Old Testament, the water was bitter. At that time, prayer was not needed. At that time, giving was not needed. At that time, sacrifice was not needed, and Elijah paid attention to the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit told him, because the Holy Spirit guides you, he directs you on what to do. I always say that the Holy Spirit is the prophet of heaven. Can you, did you hear me? I always say on my own that the Holy Spirit is the prophet of heaven, because he reveals God's mind to you, and takes what is happening here to the headquarters. Heavy. <laughs> That's the Holy Spirit. It's a prophet. The Holy Spirit will tell you what to do. When God, he will tell you what God wants to do on earth. Now, I want to do, I want to pray a prayer for this church. In this hard times. In this crisis. And I tell you, today is for the third of June. From today, this church will never weep again. From today, this church will never go through crisis again. From today, this church will never witness pain and distress again. Mark my words. I know what my prayers can do. And I know what my prayers are doing in Philippines. Get me a cup of water. I want a cup of water. Please, right now. I want a cup of water. Yes, yeah, somebody's bringing it. Now, now, there is, there is, the church is going through bitter times. The church is going through hard times. The church is going through persecutions and so much. I want to break it. I want to stop it. I want to, I want to, Pastor, I want to help you. Okay? I want to, I want to help you. I want to help you with the anointing on me. I want to help you with the grace on me. So that it, when it rubs, what is on you to rub on me? It's an exchange. I want to help you in these times. Father, in the name of Jesus. This is your church. Bible says you will build your church and the, and the gate of hell and principalities and powers cannot come against your church. I commit your church into your hands from today. Any spirit, any projection, any ploy that has been shot from the realms of the spirit from the land, from the air, from the Pacific. Hallelujah. I come against you 
in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. I come against you in the name of the Trinity, in Jesus' name, in this place right now. I turn this water into the blood of Jesus. I turn this water into the blood of Jesus. I turn this water into the blood of Jesus. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Father, as I pour this water into this platform, this water ceases to be water. I pour it in the blood of Jesus, and I contend with contenders, and I contend with attackers, and I contend with projections. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus speak good things than the blood of Abel. Listen to me. The blood of Abel is a mortal blood. The blood of Abel is a human blood. The blood of Abel that Cain, Cain was a brother of Abel who killed Abel in the land or in the forest or in the garden. And God saw it. And God said in Hebrews that the blood of Jesus speaketh good things than the blood of Abel. Why? Because the blood of Jesus is not a mortal blood. It's a divine blood. The blood of atonement, the blood of redemption, the blood of salvation, the blood of freedom, the blood of liberty, the blood of blessing, the blood of covering, and the blood of power. Poros. Timahaba. Father, I pour the blood in this church. I pour the blood in the church. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Father, from today, when the enemy enter the church, may they see the blood of Jesus. And may the blood be poured out of the church. Any spirit that wants to enter the church and command I pray from today the blood will speak, the blood will speak, the blood will speak, the blood will speak by the power of the Holy Ghost. Give God a mighty clap of prayer. My God, my God, my God, I need your help. Him, cover him, 
his life, his wife, his members, his children. I commit Pastor Trumpy. Father, defend him, cover him, anoint him, establish him. I commit pastoral grace, anoint her, defend her, cover her, and protect her. Father, I leave this house. I leave your temple with your presence. I leave your temple with your power. I leave your temple with your fire. I leave your temple with the revival and the prayer anointing. May this church, my God, be different. May the, may the church be different. May it be different from today. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I thank you. Holy Spirit, I bless you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pastor Boy, please come. Please come. Please come. Give God a clap. Give God a clap. Give God a clap. Give God a clap. Bless you, Pastor. I came, I came, I came here on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because I love Pastor Trumpy and Pastor Boy. I had to go to Kamalat uh, One, but I canceled the appointment because I love Pastor Trumpy and Pastor Boy. Give them a clap for me. God bless you.